Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, or I'm a stay-at-home dad and a part-time eBay reseller. And every 100 subscribers is a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. I actually forgot my phone. <laughs> <laughs> One eternity later. All right, now I feel better. I actually have 15 orders going out today, so pretty great for a midweek sales day. I'm not gonna say pretty great. That's great for a midweek sales day. Not all of them came in over the last day. Some of them are carryover because of the extended weekend, extended shipping weekend. But all in all, the increased sale has been helping. I'm gonna run that, which is a 20% off sale. Basically anything that was three months or older. There's some specific items I, I picked and chose. Picked and choosed? Picked and chosed? Picked and choosed? Either way, that doesn't sound right. There were some that I selected. Good morning, Blackbeard. Meow, 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 meow. To not be in that, even though they were older. And I'm gonna continue that for the rest of this week until beginning middle of next week and then I think I'm going to go through and select anything I don't want to be any lower than 20% remove that from the sale and I think I'm gonna bump that percentage up again I'm not gonna back off I think I'm gonna keep going until I clear some of this stuff out it was kind of eye-opening yesterday I went sourcing I ran out of gas you know physically it just was it just wasn't I was doing stuff but I wasn't getting anything done so I said you know what shake it up go do something that is productive or attempt to be productive keep going but get out of this funk you're in in the thing you're doing right now which don't fall into that trap where you're like oh i don't feel like listing let me go source but i could use maybe some better stuff or whatever went to salvation army i spent almost two hours there i spent around twenty dollars it's in the car it's pouring rain i'm not gonna go get it but i got two random bags of silverware for around $10, which isn't great. That's not something you, sh you should shoot for, random bag of silverware. But there was a couple in there that I know would basically pay for the whole lot. And so it's if it's a wash, it's a wash. If I find something good, if there's enough to lot together, all that, I said, okay, well, let me at least find something. Cause that was a half hour into my search at that point. And then I also found a poster one of the Smokey the Bear posters I've sold before, and specifically one I've sold, this will be now the fourth one of this one. It's called Don't Light Up the Night, I think, and it's a bunch of like nocturnal creatures. I got that for a dollar something. I should get around 20, 25 dollars free shipping for that, so that's pretty good. Then there was also some tiki style, luau style, um, blow mold, not string lights, but they were uh, the staked ground lights. Those were new in box, but the problem is, and I paid six bucks for that, I think. But the problem is the ones that have sold and they've sold for 35 to 50, somewhere in that range, but they've sold without the box and as vintage. Mine is in the box. They're from big lots. They're from like 2014. They're not vintage. So do I trash the box so I can claim their vintage and get more money? I won't do that either. Uh, and that, might have been it. I don't remember exactly, but that's what I got. I went through the whole store outside of clothing, including blankets and towels and all that kind of stuff through with a fine tooth comb because I hadn't been in there in months. And I said, okay, let me, it's gotta be new stuff. I haven't been in here forever. Let me go through everything, even stuff I don't normally buy. Let me go through everything, jewelry, all of it. And that's all I could get. There was four or five pairs of shoes that if they make it to half off day, I would definitely buy, but at $5, into $25? No. $250 into $25? Yes. That is a big difference. But the thing that was very eye-opening, and I could see why maybe, because I've seen a little bit of writing on the wall, that maybe eBay is pushing to get rid of stale items, to get stuff out of people's stores that isn't selling to, and this, I don't have any facts for this, but it's just a vibe I've got from people that might be in the know that maybe eBay is hinting towards you need to clean up your store and get rid of some of that garage sale junk is how they'd probably see it in their minds. This is again, just me on a tangent because I would look up an item 
like a plush because I have very, very limited knowledge on plush. 90% of it is garbage and 10% of it is shockingly good. Kind of like not this one right here, but down in here, I have three vintage Cabbage Patch dolls that have been sitting around forever. I paid 50 cents a piece for them, maybe even 25 cents a piece for them. And one of them's listed for like 50 bucks plus shipping. So there is stuff that's worth it in the plush category. If you want to know those types of things, go follow FJ Treasures. So I watched their videos. I'm like, what is this thing you just sold? And it's just usually like a really ugly plush. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning, second coffee already. Stick with me. Point of what I'm trying to get to is I would look up an item and there would be hundreds of this item listed and there would be zero solds. Zero. Why would the first person that lists that, okay, you look it up. Nobody has one listed. I have some stuff like this vintage plush right here. That was just this for my childhood. So it wasn't like I went out of my way to get this. I just happened to have it. I think this that's an item where there was none listed. I keyword it. So if somebody goes to look for that specific plush, I'm the only one that has one that you can dabble in. We're like, okay, if someone goes to find this, I have the one that's still super long tail. No guarantees it'll sell, but you have the one. But there would be of a specific plush or whatever item I'd look up, there would be hundreds of them and zero solds. Why would the second through hundreds list theirs? Don't just list something to list something. I might I mean I'm aware that people list things that it's just willy-nilly, but it was item after item I would look up because I was in categories I didn't know, so I was looking up garbage where I'd look that up and I go, oh, this is garbage. And then there would be hundreds of people who were like, oh, this is garbage. Let me list it. So I could see, because like I said, I, I think I see the writing on the wall where eBay is going to push for that, where your stale stuff or just stuff that you shouldn't have listed in the first place. They don't want that. That's a burden to their whole system, to the whole ecosystem. It's extra stuff. eBay system itself and the algorithm has to deal with that shouldn't even be listed at all. It should just be a toy for your kid or donated to a Goodwill or what not to a Goodwill donated to anything but a Goodwill. Um, but you get what I'm saying. Just, I don't know. It was somewhat shocking. I wish I would have recorded some of it. I don't want to go on and on, but if there are zero solds of an item and hundreds listed, don't list it. That's the moral of that story. And this is day two of the listing challenge. It's not a much of a challenge outside of it's challenging me to list things that I've been avoiding. Blackbeard, zip it. I am just starting from the most expensive item I have or perceived most expensive item I have and working my way down. Nothing else. I can't, you know, oh, this is going to be difficult. This takes too much work, blah, blah, blah. No, if it's worth more money than the next thing, that's what's getting listed next. So this is day two of that. I will do it the same way I did the last video. That one hasn't come out yet. So I don't know if you guys like that or not. So we'll see where I pull an order, list a thing, mix it up a little bit, make it a whole jumbled mess of what my day kind of looks like. Cause it's actually, it's easier for me to do some of that editing as I'm filming instead of after it takes less time. First thing going out a four is Wilton, uh, snowflake and Christmas tree silicone molds scared me for a second. It is these two right here. I went back, somebody sent me an offer. I went back and price comped to see if that was a viable or a reasonable offer. And it was, I had them listed too high. When I listed them, not listed too high, but they had sit for a year and a half maybe. And over that time, other people had listed them, listed them lower. And so without going back and price comping every item I've listed, this sale is helping to work through some of those issues in a more organic way than me having to go through line by line and adjust prices, which you can do and I have done. But when I do that, I will sort my items from most expensive to least expensive. And usually when I get around that $25 free ship, $20 plus ship range, I just stop because the amount of effort to the return, it goes down the, the cheaper the item gets. You know, I can't be repricing $9.99 free shippers. What am I going to reprice it to? $9.79 free shipping. So for those $17.99 plus shipping, silicone molds I have done great with. Very specific ones. Now these ones, these Christmas ones, the Wilton brand in general. And then 
I have sold somewhere between five and 10 times the ice cream cone, not the waffle cone shape, but the, um, what do they call that? Like the standard ice cream cone, the kid cone shape. I don't know what you would call that, but those ones I have sold many times. And again, everything depends on what you can get it for. You know, price matters. Speaking of price matters, I couldn't finish this lot to um, list it, so I had to order four books. I would have needed, I think, seven to make it a, seven or eight to make it a complete, complete set, but then I'm cutting into my profits too much, so I needed four to make it a complete run of like one through 22, and then two additional books, something in that range. But the four books I needed, I got after tax, free shipping, $11.90. And when I list it, it will list, I had said before, around 75 free ship, somewhere in that range. So if I paid 50 cents a book for these, which I probably paid less than that, so it's 18 books, so that is $9 plus the $11.90, we're up to $20.90, 75 free ship. It's gonna cost around 10 bucks to ship it. So we're at $30.90, $31 roughly. Add fees into that. Let's say, let's say we're already up to 40 bucks at that point. So four, so right there, I'm making about $35 in profit on something like this. So don't look at the 75 or whatever I end up pricing it price tag and go, oh, wow, let me go buy a bunch of these books at a dollar a piece. No, you have to get them at the right price. You have to be careful on something like this, but it can turn into $35 in profit, which for some people that might be more effort than it's worth even. And now that I actually do that math, I might, I'll probably simultaneously do it because it's not a fast mover. I'll probably list it also on my local marketplace. I'll do the actual math and see after fees and stuff. Because if I'm going to make $35 in profit, maybe I can sell it on my local marketplace for 50 or 40 and make more money, not have to ship it. I'll give that a shot because I also, I did have interest from people. No, of course, nobody bought it yet because that's how marketplace works. And it's just mixed random lot of James Patterson books for 25 bucks. So if I have an actual series, I'll try it. Why not? Next thing going out is a pair of boots. Timberland six inch upper men's leather boots. These are actually really, really nice boots. I did end up taking a significant discount, but they came in the big Nike shoe buy. I have made so much money and I'm looking to move on from the rest of them. But these right here, I mean, look at those boots. Something on that one right there. Well, it was in the listing when it got listed, so it's staying there. They sell for $75 to $100. Same exact boots, but for some reason, I kept getting offers on these low ball. They needed to go. And it says they're a 10 and a half, which that's my size. So, man, I should have I considered maybe keeping those. those are, now, now I'm maybe regretting not having myself a nice pair of boots, but either way, I'll take it. $65 plus shipping. The shoe buy, it worked out to $22.50, if I'm remembering correctly, per pair of shoes. So $22.50 into $65 is not tons of profit, but I also had shoes in that buy that went from $22.50 to $500 plus. So I'm, I'm okay with that. All right, first thing on the docket for today is to turn the heat on. <laughs> but the next thing is I have a GameCube down there to test. So I guess it's time to take my punishment and get to doing things I have been voiding for. Ooh, wow, I think that GameCube might be from last summer. So that's pretty bad. All right, let me do some work. All right, well, got that one done. It is over two hours later. That's why I just, I don't like doing it anymore. And it shouldn't have taken that long. But in order to test all this and do it properly, I had to reattach the television I used to have up here. I wanted to make sure I don't accidentally have to do this again. So I had to go through um, all of the game stuff I had sitting here, which I forgot I had a regular Xbox down here. So this is just gonna be, it's gonna take up the whole week to do this, but I should have done this a long time ago. I shouldn't have waited around. It's the punishment I get now, but luckily that punishment comes with dollars. We'll get to that point. But this is where I keep extra parts, controllers, when I make a bundle, that kind of thing. This will also get all listed this winter. I'm, I don't need to be storing stuff. This is, it's not worth my time. I mean, look at how many Xbox controllers I have. A drawer full, plus a bunch up here. It's, just sell them. 
to sell them. If I need one to test, I'll buy one. It's not worth it. Grand total, because I went to, I was just going to do a big bundle. I was just going to put all the games, controllers, everything in a big bundle. And then the orange GameCube controller, uh, this one right here, when I went to test it, one of the, I think that's this stick, but it could be this one. I don't know. Or maybe the D-pad. One of them sticks. And I could fix that. That's not my mode right now. Not fixing anything. If the GameCube hadn't worked, I probably could have fixed it. Wasn't going to do it, but it did. It did work. So that's great. So I went to look up how much it was for parts repair like is it even worth listing and it was still worth like 29.99 free ship so about 25 24 dollars not working so i was like okay i'm parting out basically everything so i made one gamecube with all the plugs and then a, a mad cats like a off-brand controller and that was only 85 dollars the rest of the stuff was way more than that so the grand total of everything in the gamecube fiasco i just went through was 224 dollars like i said it did take me over two hours but it shouldn't have because i had to go through a bunch of stuff i had to locate my drill to put that up it was just a bunch of extra stuff that normally you shouldn't have to do when i used to sell electronics often like all the time this entertainment center right here was actually in this spot for those of you who've been around a long time, you might remember the old office, which is, I had the entertainment center here, and then I had hung blankets to, and then actually I ended up building a wall on this side and hung blankets around so I could heat just a little section before this place was insulated and all that kind of stuff. And so I had a permanent space with a television and a stereo and speakers and all kinds of stuff. So all I had to do, if I had something like this or anything like this, is I would just go to the back, grab whatever cords I needed, plug stuff in, and I was testing and it took seconds. So that's that's the big, that's the same thing. reason I don't sell clothes. I'm not set up for it. In order to be set up for clothes, you have to have a picture area that makes sense for clothes, a process that makes sense for clothes, storage that makes sense for clothes, the volume to do clothes, all that kind of stuff. That's why I don't do it, because if I am going to do it, I have to change a bunch of stuff, which the way sourcing is going, maybe that's something I do have to maybe dabble in. Probably not. I just, I don't want to do it. This is a good chance for me to add some value, some tips and stuff on things that I don't normally do anymore, but are good information. I did mention the other day, if you're going to sell things with cords, invest in black twist ties or black rubber bands. They are very cheap. The twist ties, at least I don't know the rubber bands, because it adds a somewhat amount of professionalism. And this item right here, a OEM GameCube controller. There are, of this exact same item, 600 of them listed. So when people are deciding between 100 of them that are the exact same price, if yours is wrapped up all nasty with a rubber band, or not even wrapped up at all, just thrown on a counter, and mine is wrapped nicely with a, a nice black twist tie, that draws their eye to mine. Oh, look at this looks like somebody who knows what they're doing, somebody who's a professional. Another thing, is don't do this. For one, I've seen, I saw listings like this. Like this is how they listed it. For two, do not pinch your cord. This is the number one destroyer outside of gunk or pop or food to destroy controllers. Don't do this. If you really want to wrap it like that, just make sure, let me grab a different one that's not all wrapped up and nasty. I guess they all are. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. That doesn't make it right. Let me unwrap this one. If you desire to wrap it around your controller tightly, just make a simple loop first, then wrap it, even though you shouldn't do it anyways. It's always bad for the, the wires in there. It breaks them over time. If you are going to do that though, just make a little loop first, then wrap it and don't make a pinch point in the wire so that it wears out over time. I mean, pick up a wire, bend it a bunch of times, see what happens. Just don't do it. It's very simple. Make it clean, make it nice. Don't break the controller after you've already listed it by wrapping it too tight. And then again, this is probably gonna be a very long video. That's, I guess, what it is what it is. And I'll know after the last video if you guys enjoy that type of more in-depth of my day. If you are going to deal with things like controllers, remote controls like this kind of thing. Just be aware that the gunk on them is skin. It is dead skin. It's very gross. Don't 
eat your lunch while you're doing it. If it's something that you have an aversion to, like, be aware that, that the nastiness that's on there is not dirt. That is mostly human skin. It's bleh, gross. It's disgusting. I hate it so much, I don't want to do it anymore. But I get to because I have apparently an Xbox, I have an Xbox 360, two PlayStation 2s, and another Xbox 360, and a boatload of controllers to clean, so gross. But uh, next thing going out is an Espeon GX, and I took an offer on this, or sent out an offer maybe, for $14.99 plus eBay standard envelope, which I don't know if eBay standard envelope is going to automatically increase itself in the system, because I know postage, like, like stamps is going up, I think at the first of the year, maybe the first week of the year. Uh, if I'm actually, I think my memory might be working. I think it's the January 20th it goes up. But either way, regular postage going up again. This is one of those items, if I hadn't put it in a more aggressive sale, never would have sold. The market has changed. I had this listed $19.99 and I actually at $14.99 got towards the high end of those cards that are available. Running that sale is really, it's a big deal. It's it's working. I'm going to stick with it. And adding the $224 for the GameCube brings the running total to of the two-day listing challenge, which of course is has become a one-week listing challenge when it's supposed to be one day. It is what it is as long as dollars are getting in the store and that's what I wanted to accomplish. And then next thing going out, it's a book. It's Hello, Miss Piggle Wiggle, which is a fun name. Hello, Miss Piggle Wiggle children's book right here. And for that book, I got $17.99 free shipping. That will, of course, go media mail. That was on sale, plus I sent out an offer. Of course, I ran into a hiccup. I can't say I'm disappointed because I just didn't I just didn't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but I have to. Out of all the PlayStation stuff I have, PlayStation 2 stuff I have, I don't have any RCA adapters. I only have the, what is this called, RF cable. I got four of these, but the one of these I have, the a bunch of pins are broke. So that, of course, doesn't work. I could test everything. I'm not going to list one of these as this is the only option on eBay. It'll either they won't notice it and they'll return it or be upset or it just it won't sell as fast. I might throw one in when I make the listing, but I'm not going to have that as the only way to hook it up to something because what are the chances that they want to do it that way? So my plan is to order one. And then when I do go through the testing and all that of the PlayStation 2, which will be the day that cord comes in, I will hold myself to that. What I'm also going to do is I had listed a bunch of games before and then I made some lots to get back to later because they're not really worth much of anything including my time like Madden even allotted together three years of them f four years of them you're just hoping somebody buys it it's not really worth anything but I think what I'm gonna do instead is when I get I'll order two of them because I have two even though I haven't tested them yet a spare one's not gonna hurt me I'm gonna list one of them if they both work I'll list one of them on marketplace my local marketplace with all the game every one of them uh all these all these these full of random games i'll say they're all untested because i'm not going through it because again like nba live who cares i mean i played the heck out of nba live but i'll, I'll double check because i don't remember which it's not there's, no there's not one of the maddens it's the ncaa i'm thinking the wrong thing um but either way that all the ones that are in here i'll bundle all that together and sell that locally because even to add these to a lot on ebay the extra shipping hassle and charges and all of that isn't worth it i might pull out this one and maybe tekken 5 i'll double check on a couple of these because i did make them in lots so it was meant to be like like these two together these two together maybe Tekken by itself. So I'll double check on this section here. But beyond that, I'll lot them all together and I'm just gonna move on to the next thing, which is probably that Xbox, but just because I'm clearing up a ton of space here, I'm gonna go with this Xbox 360 
because I I'm assuming this is gonna be for parts repair because the door doesn't close but I'm assuming it also doesn't open so for parts of repair because at the same time I'll put this one back together and sell it for parts or repair if this one does work which I doubt it does if it does I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna list it locally and I'm gonna put all of these games that aren't really worth listing by themselves if not I will also at the same time I'm gonna just make one big lot of all those games maybe run an auction yeah probably not I just don't like auctions but we'll see how that goes but there's a hiccup right there wasted you know 15 minutes to get this all out and now I got to put it all back so I can do something I'm also going to finish pulling and packing all the orders that have to go out today. Next thing going out, it's in the hats. It's a Disney Parks Donald Duck hat. Hey, making messes to get rid of messes. Should be easy to find. It is the one that looks like Donald Duck. There we go. I got that this this year at a uh, Habitat for Humanity. Nope, I take that back. I got this at the Animal Shelter one i think and uh some charity sale i got it at a charity sale for that item i got 2250 free shipping i paid i don't know two bucks for it something like that which that's gonna be a pain to ship i basically have to put it in a box it's not gonna be a ton of money next thing going out is an album and the only reason it sold is because i reduced the price then put it on sale then sent out an offer because my albums you know what little i have list left listed they've been around for a while it is van halen fair warning which i probably didn't have to send out the offer on top of on sale blah 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 reducing the price all three of them but i want the sale now it's my money and i need it now van halen fair warning for that album 17.99 free shipping that will go media mail i will ship it in a vinyl mailer it's a specific box that looks kind of like a cross. Pull it all the way out because I'm going to need it. So first I will put it into a vinyl poly bag like that. And then I will put it into a vinyl mailer like this. And that's all I will do. Some people will put a secondary piece of cardboard as a backer in here. And I have done that if the record is valuable. It's got to be $50 plus because doing it this way which which is the, the poly bag and the vinyl mailer i've had a 100 percent success rate so i only do the extra when it's just more of a peace of mind for me and maybe again a little bit of an appeal to the buyer when they open it oh, okay this was expensive they took good care all that kind of stuff but 17.99 free shipping the albums i paid up for some albums i think i paid I don't know, 200 bucks for a whole record collection. I already made my money back. It's all profits at this point. Next thing going out is actually a viewer sale going out to Kathy Black. Kathy, thank you so much for your continued support and also for your purchase. These are pretty cool. Been listing some jewelry, jewelry lately. Jewelry is a hard word for me to say. I got a mush mouth. And there's some actually some pretty cool items in there. And these might be the tops. B3J is a cuff and then a, I think it's a pin. Let's see if I can find them both at the same time, or you know what? I'll just bring it with me. So B3J is a pewter cuff, which snazzy snazzy. Look at that. Oh, they are numbered even. Look at Gen Go B3J35. That makes it super easy. And B3J4, which is this one right here, which is a like a brooch pin type of thing. And they of course match. Very cool. These would be great for you know going something fancy like New Year's Eve. That, that gives me a very New Year's Eve vibe. And for the pair of those, $40 free shipping. Of course, when I combine free shippers, I save money, therefore make more money, more money, more money. And I did give Kathy a deal, whether or not she had been a viewer, because of the combined shipping. I get to save that money. And so I can give an extensive deal on those for the pair of those $40. I do appreciate it. Let me go ahead and grab your sticker before I forget. And there you are, sticker also going out with your order. All right, so I changed my mind. I skipped the lunch. I'll just stop early today and eat then. For some reason that seemed like, it's like, you know, you eat the lunch, you get sluggish. So that was my plan. <laughs> Whether that's good or not, I don't know. Both of the Xbox, well, this one I had taken about part before and I was planning on repairing it. That's never gonna happen. So I put it back together, listed for parts, other one. Uh, it took me forever just to clean it up because somebody had wrapped like tape around it and it was like good tape, I guess. Cause now I got those, when you use uh, something like Goo Gone, now I got those like stickery 
sticky, like, boogery things everywhere. They're all on my phone. It's just, it's a pain. It was too much effort for the $15 that's worth. Some things that if you're going to do electronics or just in general, like I said, Goo Gone, it's a great product. Everybody should have it around. Alcohol, buy it at your local Walmart. Canned air. I'm waiting for FJ Treasures to do their review on a electric blower because most electric blowers, they just don't have enough gusto like the canned ones do. But this is a product that if you're gonna deal with electronics, you should have. It doesn't have to be this one specifically, contact cleaner. This is the best. It takes not working electronics and makes them working. Things if they got like a little static, you just do a little spray in here and there. It's amazing. Link in the description if you would like to use my link. If not, don't, I won't take the free money. But even though those were $15 a piece plus shipping, I might not even get that. They're probably not even worth listing. All the other bits and bobs, hard drives, wireless connector, uh, whatever, all the other stuff that I listed, it all ended up coming out to $113, which I'll add that to the running total. Yeah. Unfortunately, because neither one works, I couldn't test out the two guitars I have. I couldn't test out the bucket of controllers I have. I do have my own Xbox 360 though, so I will make that next step eventually, but that's not gonna be part of this whole run because I'm trying to get the stuff out of the garage, not gonna bring stuff more stuff into the garage. And then I did take, I had a stack of Xbox 360 games that I just, take a peek at the lot. It wasn't worth listing, that's the thing. Because these are all $5 free shippers, but even to make this lot and sell it, I'm competing with too many people. So I put in my local marketplace, there's I think 14 games, I put it for 25 bucks. That's pretty cheap if somebody just wants to bolster their collection or just needs some more games or whatever the reason. And that's a lot less effort and still probably about the same amount of money I would get anyways, if it's sold at all. Because again, competition, I mean, just go look at Xbox 360 lots. It's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. But one item that I probably underpriced because it's already sold, I'm not packing it up today, but just to show you, is this wireless connector for an Xbox 360. So if you see these in a free box or at your Goodwill, take just put this in your mind. This little dongle looking thing is worth selling. And if you price it right, it will apparently sell immediately. Next thing going out, it's in the desk. It's a pair of shoes, a pair of Asics that did not come from the Nike shoe deal because they are not Nikes. Well, I guess the last pair was Timberlands and those weren't in the weren't Nikes. These right here I got at a garage sale. They are new. If they were my size, I probably would have just kept them, but they are not. They are little. They are like a size, what are these? Size nine. Well, I guess that's not that little, but too small for me. $39.99 plus shipping. I think I paid $10. Whatever they had on it, I paid half of that. I think they asked 20 and I paid 10, but I'm not positive. I don't remember exactly, but I want to say 10. Maybe they had 10 on and I paid five. Either way, I did reduce the price, was on sale, sent an offer. So could I have waited out for more money on those? 100%. Am I in the mood for waiting around for money right now? No, not a chance. $39.99 plus shipping. While I was moving stuff around, because I actually, I started looking for a, oh, here's another PlayStation connector, but this kind, not the other one. So I just have piles of these, which doesn't do me any good. I looked into, I have some of my game stuff up here and I have a PlayStation. I think it's back there though. So I have connectors for all this stuff for my stuff. So I was looking for it, but I didn't want to really dig too deep because it's not up there. I don't know where I have my PlayStation at. That's all my Nintendo stuff. PlayStation is MIA. If I locate it, then I do have a cord for myself. But when I was doing that, I was like, oh, what's in this box? And what it is, look at it. Koozies. Big old pile of them. I've had a lot of koozies just waiting to be listed forever. So I probably have two lots of koozies to do with all the ones I have sitting around now. And that was also another realization I think I came to is I think I'm gonna sell off my game stuff. I don't use it. I just don't use it. I have hundreds of dollars in Sega and Nintendo stuff. I have all of these up here, that's Super Nintendo back here. I have my own GameCube. I'm hesitant because I always assume at some point I will get free time for hobbies to do with myself or with some friends. 
and I would like to have a bit of a game set up to do that kind of stuff, but do I just sell it all and then when that time comes up, just go ahead and go buy it? Will I regret that decision? I don't know, because I do have hundreds, including the games, maybe, maybe thousands of dollars in game stuff that I don't use. Next up, B2 is a Hallmark. Mr. and Mrs. Santa sold the other one maybe last week, maybe the week before, but they are these cute salt and pepper shakers. I got those in a Mikhail mystery box. I did have a viewer again, it's a common thing, ask what, what the heck's a Mikhail mystery box? Mikhail is a friend of mine. He lives out west. He gets much, he is in a much better sourcing area. He also sometimes has things unloaded onto him and he can't process it fast enough. So anything he's not going to list and he's gonna donate anyways, he sends to me at the cost of shipping. So that's why it's usually a large box and I usually say less than a dollar because there's almost always more items than there is the dollars to to ship it. So say the shipping's 40, $45, there's always more than 40, 45 items. So that's why I say less than a dollar, because I'm not going to do the math and figure out exactly how much I pay for them. But $15.99 free shipping on this one. Also, same thing, on sale and sent an offer, but I didn't reduce the price. $15.99 free shipping is good though. So the PlayStation's on hold. What is going to be next? Won't get to it today, because like I said, I just skipped lunch and just kept going. Um, yeah, I won't get to it today. Well, I guess to stay on the, the game train, I'll just switch over to Wii stuff, because I have a Wii and a bunch of games. I mean, this has been sitting in here forever. Like, this, this is, what, 25, 30 bucks just sitting here? I mean, that's just stupid. <laughs> Most of these games aren't very good, but the one right on top there is. But yeah, I got a whole Wii and connectors and all kinds of stuff, and another Wii right here to test. So, we, and then that will get to also eliminate this bucket that's been in my way forever. So, we will be on the docket for tomorrow, and then after the we, who knows? Who knows? But Jen is going to be here tomorrow, and she's going to do some listing here. I think she's going to do all the shoes. So, after the we, the PlayStation, the shoes are gone, it's going to start getting pretty empty in here. And like I said yesterday, I attempted to go sourcing. It didn't go well. I'm not trying to be like, poor me. Oh, figure it out for Drew. Drew's going to figure it out. Drew's going to find stuff. I don't, I maybe I'll, I've been contemplating going on to my local marketplace and making a post like, like, hey, anybody need money for the holiday season? Looking to get rid of a collection, looking to sell something and don't want to go through the effort of eBay. Hit me up. That kind of thing. I'm hesitant to do that though. Because whenever people have stuff for me to sell, or they're good stuff, they either want too much money, or it's just junk. And then I feel bad. Like, no, this is this is garbage. Just throw it away. So, we'll see. Next up, we have another viewer sale. It is Living Pretty. Living Pretty, you have been very nice to me lately, buying many things. B3F is a honeybee pin. Which I've had a couple viewers buy one of these honeybees, but I think this is the last one. And it is right back here. This is another item I got in a Mikhail mystery box. And that's why I always say less than a dollar because in the mystery box I got these in, there was like six of them, plus many, many other things. For that item, 835 free shipping. That would have been in the 20% off sale. And let me go ahead and throw your sticker in so I don't forget because I will. I would say half of the time I pack up a viewer sale, I have to unbox it or unpackage it, cut open a poly bag and put it in a new poly bag because I forget. So that's my way to hopefully remind myself because I've done that and then still forgot. I went to order the cord for the PlayStation because I said the pins were broken and it, they're not. Oddly enough, I was just comparing it to the other type of cable and these this type has more pins than the... RCA type. So I assumed it was broken. Um, I think because I had one of those returned from a broken pin. So that was in my head. So I was able to test both of them. They both work. This one, it's a bit loud. So I may, may pop the cover off and clean it out and just try to get that fan cleaned out a little bit. It still works perfectly fine, but it's it's loud, so it's it's trying harder than it needs to. And what I'm going to do, and to try to bring all this just to wrap it up, because this can't be a series that goes on forever and ever and ever, I am going to list one of these, 
with the two controllers I have, this stand with the memory card extras, this pile of games, this whole thing is full of games, and I'm gonna list all of those together on my local marketplace for probably a hundred bucks. It's a nice round number. And there is like 70 games, 60, 70 games. I'm saying they're all untested. There are some duplicates. It is what it is. I'm just trying to put them all together and I'm going to put it for a hundred bucks. I'd probably go as low as 75, but a hundred dollars is really, it's not that bad for how many games and the PlayStation and the two controllers. And then the other one I will be listing I think they're going around $50 plus shipping for just the console. Then I do have, I did double check, I have this whole stack of either individual games or lots. I have these ones to list, not that one, that's just to see if this one of these ones over here needs the uh, manual. And then I actually found one, two, three, four, five disc only that were actually worth listing. Like I said, to wrap all this up, all this will have been listed by time this video gets edited. So that brings my total to, and I guess what I learned over this time is that this shouldn't be a challenge or something that I have to like do a whole video for me to do. This should be how I do my business going forward. I should cherry pick the most expensive items because I don't have extensive death piles. So I should be cherry picking my best items, my most expensive items, list those. And when I run out of those, move down to the cheaper stuff, the patterns, the crafting magazines that I have boxes and boxes still to go through, the Pokemon cards if I ever buy some more. Those should be when I run out of the other stuff and that will be how I do it going forward. Also, some of this, that GameCube stuff sold the first day. It just, it's better stuff. Next week, I will move on to this basket of clothes and blankets and things, because there's probably, you know, 250 right there, that kind of thing. That will be, again, that will be my plan going forward. Most expensive stuff, no matter how much work it takes, going down. And if after I list it, I go, that was a pain. I don't want to do that again. I won't buy that thing again, or at least I'll try not to buy that thing again. And then also to cap off how well this has gone, in my opinion, is let me go ahead and add on the totals that Jen has listed over that time, right here. And again, I don't have those numbers, but when I edit, I will have all that. All right, so next up, it's a book. It's Button Suit, which this one sat unpaid for multiple days but then they did end up paying for it. When I went to list all of the Walt Disney Wonderful World of Reading books, there were a couple worth listing by themselves and Button Soup was one of them. The only reason mine was even this cheap is because it's got a tag on it. It's got some nastiness on the back there, but I think in really good condition, this one's like $14.99, $12.99 free shipping. But that one, I got $9 free shipping going media mail. And so still on that item, I will make four-ish dollars, $5.00 and that came in the big Barbie and book buy. Next up, it's a book, The Long Ship's Passing. All right, and this one right here, 1942, $6.99 free shipping. That's cheap. I don't usually sell books that low. Usually $7.99 on a book is my limit, but that was one of those things. It's been, it, it was in the sale. I think I countered an offer. I think they sent me an offer like $5. Counter was $6.99. I'll make not much. I got them for free, so I'll make profits. Whatever profits are on that is 100% profit, which is not a ton, $2, something like that, which isn't the worst, but it's not the best. <laughs> Next up, got a repeat buyer. It is D1A11. It's a Mattel Barbie. I assume they bought a Barbie previously. I think it's this one, which that is one of the things with selling in a niche, not saying I'm selling in a niche, but I have listed a lot of Barbies lately, is you will get repeat buyers when you niche more often than you will if you are not niche down because people get confidence. Oh, I bought a Barbie from you before. I bought some clothes. Let me go back to your store. I like the way you shipped it to me. The transaction went well. Let me go back to this seller. That is one of the upsides of niching down but again, you have to be able to get the inventory. For that one right there, $21.99 free shipping. Next up is a game. It is Rigs for PS4. It's this one right here. And I only have a couple of those left. 
this and these PS4 games, and I think that's all that's left, which these ones I shouldn't have bought. This one I also shouldn't have bought. My local video store was going out of business. So I went there and I just started, started one end and started scanning barcodes and I bought a couple hundred dollars worth of games. But there was some, I was trying to be fast, but also thorough, but some of them I should have passed on. And this is one of them. $8 free shipping had to go on sale plus accept an offer because I probably paid two to four dollars for that game So I could be making somewhere between a couple dollars and zero dollars on that one But it's time for it to go. I did miss out huge because I didn't go The first couple days because they were doing like this day It's this percentage off this day. It's this percentage off D down and down and down until they could try to clear out as much as possible I offered to be an end buyer Wasn't an option at the last day, people just came in at cheap, cheap prices and bought anything that was left. But I should have went the first day because they had, I used to actually work at this video store. They had professional style disc resurfacers that I could have got, not for like nothing, but a lot cheaper than buying one. And I really missed out on that. I've been kicking myself ever since. And that was a couple years ago. Speaking of a couple years ago, I was so happy to see this one sell. A5 is a Serene Innovations telephone. Up here, this is, I always say this when I pull one out because I don't really know, but this is got to be, has got to be, not is got to be, has got to be the oldest item in my store. This has been in the garage since, whew, since before, like when I was talking about that smaller office, when I had the wooden shelves. This is old, old inventory probably two years plus. That's pre-lockdowns. That was 2020, right? 2019 is when I bought that. So that is a four, four years old. Been sitting around old inventory. I've lowered the price so many times. And at the time, this was a great buy because it's the oversized buttons. This is actually with like the, if you're deaf, it's got like the light up thing. It's actually, it was a great buy, but I had to lower the price so many times and then eventually on sale plus sent out an offer, $19.99 plus shipping. I got this at a Goodwill, so I probably paid around $4.99. Could have been on a half off day, but somewhere between two fifty and five dollars, which I'm fine with that. Two, if it was two fifty into nineteen ninety nine plus ship, if it was five dollars into nineteen ninety nine, that's still okay. It's not great, but I should have been more proactive on lowering the price of that a long time ago. This was helpful to me. I hope it was helpful to you out there that I'm, I've been struggling for good stuff, and I've had good stuff sitting around. I've just been lazy about it. That's all it comes down to. I'm not going to try to parse words. I've been lazy about it. I've been taking easier listings that's worse stuff because it's easy and that cannot happen again. And I'm making a personal promise that it won't happen again. And I want you guys out there to hold me accountable to that. If you all of a sudden see me piling stuff up over here and you're like, Drew, I think you got some good stuff in the background that you've just been passing on, call me out. Please. Jen was supposed to stop by today to also list all these shoes, which would have brought the total up another 300 plus dollars, but she broke her already broken glasses and she's panicking right now because she's having to like hold it like a monocle because she's blind blind. Like she, without her glasses, she is, she like goes cross-eyed and she can't see. So she's kind of panicking on what she's going to do. So that got pushed to another day. I'm going to keep this train going. Filling my store with stuff should not be the goal. Filling my store with dollars also should not be the goal. Selling things is the goal. Whatever I have to do to get to that is the goal. Well, that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other. Just really neat. Hey, it's Pete. Do they, do they ever, fix things. I have no idea what this is. What do I care? Let's go. I'm good at this.